Hi, welcome to a Vox Commando video. Uh, today we're releasing a new version of VoxWav Pro, version 2.7.1, and it has a lot of changes in it, and, but primarily there are two main new features that I'll talk about today. Um, and one of them is that um, we have the ability now to pause recording whenever your screen goes off on your device. So this is optional, but uh, one thing that you could do if you wanted to would be to put your VoxWab into always on mode, which is not new, um, but enable this feature so that you could do something like turn uh, wear a watch where you, as soon as you turn the screen on it starts recording and then as soon as you turn the screen off it stops recording. And uh, of course, you can use other devices in other ways. So I have right now my uh, phone with the screen off, and this is in tilt mode. So I can use this normally. Turn hanging lamp off. And then it's, uh, you know, there's no conflict here because this one's not listening. And then when I turn this on, make it cozy. I turn it off and uh, it's not listening anymore. And uh, you can turn it on and leave it on and issue multiple commands if you want. It uses uh, silence thresholds to determine when you're speaking and when you're not speaking. You have to adjust that a bit, play around with that to get it right for each device. But, uh, what time is it? The time is 9.0 p.m. Do I have the email? Yes, nine new messages. And um, I'll use my phone to demonstrate prefix mode. This is the other new feature that we have. Um, so I'll turn tilt off. Uh, prefix mode is now a toggle button on the main screen next to the uh, text to speech button. And uh, previously, VoxWav would always operate as though you were in on mode, regardless of what mode Vox Commando was on was in. So if Vox Commando was in standby, or even if it was off, it would always uh, execute any commands that it understood if they were coming from VoxWav, which kind of made sense um, when we designed VoxWav because you would always press a button to speak. But now that people are trying to use it in always on mode. Um, it makes sense to have a prefix, but it still doesn't make sense for it to use the mode that Vox Commando was in. So we have a button for each device now to, uh, so that you can set that individually. So if you were using always on mode and just had this thing listening all the time, you would want to enable prefix mode. So, um, let's turn this back on. I'll enable prefix mode here just to, to demonstrate this. Play artist Claire Jenkins. So it didn't execute it. Now I'll use the prefix. Hey Bella, play artist Claire Jenkins. And it doesn't work. Hey Bella, play artist Claire Jenkins. No, probably because Media Monkey's not running. Yeah. Hey Bella, listen to music. So that's my fault. Uh, that command is only active when Media Monkey is running. So that group was disabled. Hey Bella, what artist is this? Tom Petty. Hey Bella, play artist Claire Jenkins. Playing artist Claire Jenkins. Music stop. So as you can see, we have even more flexibility, more options now. Um, the, uh, the the new release should be available on the Play Store now, but it takes some time to propagate through Google system. And uh, some of the other new features will require you to upgrade to the latest version of Vox Commando, but we haven't actually released that yet. Um, everything should still actually work. Uh, we've just added some new uh, features to the event system that will require you to upgrade uh, Vox Commando. 
So check it out, have fun, and uh, say hi to us on the forum. Don't forget to like our videos. Thanks.